John, John Brown wasn't your typical settler in Kansas. I, I, most people when they came to Kansas, whether or not they came for explicitly political reasons or just to start over and to buy a farm, um, most people had opinions on the issue of slavery, but few, uh, very few of them were willing to take them to the, to the extremes that John Brown did. Few people in American history um, have exhibited that sort of determination. Uh, Brown believed it was his duty, his duty from God to, to initiate and to wage this war against slavery on the prairies of Kansas. And, and he's one of the most interesting and most divisive figures in American history. I don't believe John Brown wasn't a crazy man. Uh, but he was willing to go places where virtually no other white American was willing to go at that point. Uh, William Lloyd Garrison and other uh, very well-read, very well-spoken abolitionists in the East had been railing against slavery in the peculiar institution for decades, um, but had really brought no, uh, had really done nothing to stop its spread and to stop uh, its its expansion westward. And John Brown had had enough of that. And John Brown decided that more needed to be done and what needed to be done was to take up arms and be willing to fight. He really had, had failed in most of his endeavors in life. He'd, he'd worked as a surveyor, he'd farmed a little bit, he'd worked as a tanner, and had really not found any kind of calling or any great success. Um, but he, he had this conviction and, and this, this faith and his anti-slavery convictions and his faith sort of uh, nurtured one another until he reaches this point after the sack of Lawrence that something had to be done.